General Electric Country President mentioned those who had supported Tony because behind every successful man or an entrepreneur does not walk alone. We all know he takes 99% of the heat, but the remaining 1% is also taken by so many others. So may I please crave the indulgence of the His Excellency the Vice President for just a few seconds to ask all the top executives of Transcorp Group to please stand for recognition and an applause. Please, all those who are here seated, the President and Group CEO, please let's see the faces of those who are behind Transcorp Nigeria PLC. Thank you so much, all of you. The Managing Director of the Power Plant, the Group Managing Director, Wen for thank you so much. Please take a seat. Thank you so much for coming. Now, I have the pleasure and the privilege of inviting the man known as Afro-capitalism. I just broke it down to those very few words. In entrepreneur, investor, businessman, and a banker to give us a few remarks. Group Chairman, Transcorp PLC, Mr. Tony Lumelu, CON. Please do a round of applause for him. Or CFR. Good afternoon, everyone. Your Excellency, our amiable Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, SAN, GCON, Executive Governor of uh, River State, my friend, brother, represented here by the Minister, um, Head of Service. The PAMSEC, Federal Ministry of Power, you're welcome. The great man that makes things happen, Mr. Alex Oko. <laughs> Alex, I told His Excellency that you're a good student. You know, it's almost like the Excellency was speaking when you spoke. <laughs> My chair. You know, once a chair, your chair always your chair forever. Chief Ferdinand Alabrava. The Parliament ruler of Okoloma, Afam, His Royal Highness. Is a a a d k. Thanks for everything. Embed. If I don't recognize Embed, they might they might not they might not pay us again. Embed. <laughs> Representatives of the state, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, PDP chair, everyone here, too many to recognize. It is. Can I have the other mic? It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the commissioning of AFAM 3 Fast Power Plant, a 240 megawatts in stock capacity plant comprising eight trailer mounted gas turbines of 30 megawatts each. We all know the importance of power in Nigeria. We all experience the consequences of power deficit, the implications for our people our businesses, our schools, our hospitals, and our institutions. In fact, implicated for our national destiny. Therefore, I am proud today that we have been able to bring together so many key stakeholders. Why am I proud and happy? I'd like us to tell a success story, a success story out of Nigeria, a story that can be repeated over and over again, if government, communities, and the private sector work together as we have worked together here at AFAM. The Transco Group Partnership at Okoloma AFAM began in November 2020, when we signed the AFAM Power Share Sale and Purchase Agreement at a ceremony presided over by Our Excellency again, the Vice President. The journey has, always been easy, has not always been easy, but we have delivered capacity recovery, plant investment, infrastructure improvement, excellent community relationship, and a transformed and motivated Nigerian workforce. We are fulfilling our promises to the government and demonstrating transcore purpose of improving lives and transforming Africa. Transcore Group is a key stakeholder in the power sector 
we recognize power is the single most critical factor to lifting our people out of poverty and enabling job creation. It is a sector that has been a strategic priority for us since the inception of our journey at S Holdings. Why is so? Because to do well, you have to do good. Power is a public good, a right, a catalyst for a better Nigeria. I am delighted to welcome you, Mr. Vice President, to the commissioning of this project. It is a testament to your legacy as chairman of the National Council on Privatization and reinforces our country's confidence in the ability of serious-minded private sector leaders to drive economic growth and progress. Transco has, since its inception in 2006, led the way in demonstrating the success of successful privatization programs. Yesterday, we were at the State House Abuja to receive from the federal government a certificate of discharge from post-privatization monitoring of Transco Power Limited OLE by the National Council on Privatization, chaired by His Excellency. We met. Some cases surpassed post-privatization targets set for us by the federal government through the NCP and the Secretary BPE. Transco executed the largest capacity recovery in a privatized power plant in Nigeria by increasing generated electricity of Transco power plant in Ueli from 160 megawatts to over 680 megawatts within a period of five years. We transformed Transco Hilton Hotel Abuja, the flagship hospitality asset of our country, to become the ultimate hospitality destination in Africa. Transco Hotel PLC was discharged also from post privatization monitoring by the federal government in 2019. These successes confirm our business philosophy of building to last while creating significant value for all stakeholders. Let me appreciate the federal government of Nigeria led by our President, His Excellency President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, His Excellency, our Vice President, the National Council on Privatization and the Bureau of Public Enterprises for their very strong support and commitment. Let me also appreciate His Excellency Governor Yusum Wike for all the support we have received from River State Government. I must also appreciate the Honourable Minister of Finance, Honourable Minister of Power, and their respective teams. The role of government is to create the enabling environment for private sector to thrive. Let us not stop here. My vision is of a Nigeria where time and time again we can repeat the success we see today at AFA. I call on the federal government to please resolve the gas and power evacuation challenges that exist in this region so that the capacity we are covering in the plants can be optimized for the good of Nigeria. I want to use this opportunity to all the incoming administration also to improve gas supply to our industry and our AFAM plants, ensure the completion of the 330 kV, KV double circuited AFAM eco the transmission lines, which will increase the capacity of the AFAM evacuator corridor. Our success has been built on a partnership with our host community. My sincere gratitude goes to the paramount ruler of Okoloma AFAM, His Royal Highness, Eze A.A. DK, and the entire Okoloma AFAM community for receiving us with open arms and creating the environment which has been the mutually beneficial relationship between Trans Afan Power Limited and this wonderful community. We are a Nigerian business. Our success can only come if our competitors and communities succeed. I would finally like to warmly thank everyone who worked to bring this project to life, GE, the very capable management of Transco Group that has been recognized here by my friend Bosin led by Dr. Owen Omogiafo, the group CEO, and especially acknowledge the management of Transafan Power Limited, led by engineer Vincent Ozode, for all their hard work and commitment to execution. At Transcore Group, 
We will continue to invest in critical sectors of our economy to improve lives and transform societies. We will not rest until we know every Nigerian has access to the power and the fruits of that power, which we know can transform our country and our fortunes. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. God bless you all as you go home, and most especially, God bless our wonderful Vice President. Thank you all. Another round of applause, please, for Mr. Tony Elumelu, CFR, the Group Chairman of Transnational Corporation of Nigeria, PLC. Thank you so much for those words, bringing us down the memory lane and the parties that have made this project very possible and to be ongoing. We have now come to the time to invite the, our special guest to this event, His Excellency the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the man who had been variously described by all the speakers here today in various ways. The Chairman of the National Council on Privatization, the man on whose shoulders the whole issue of privatization and getting the economy running really rests. Before your speech, I want to say thank you very much, Honorable is Our Excellency, Mr. Vice President, for coming. Please let's put our hands together and listen to Mr. Vice President. <laughs> Professor Yemi Oshiba, a round of applause we all, we all stand, please, for the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshiba, GCON. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you very much. Please sit. Thank you. Mr. Rufus Godwin's head of service, representing His Excellency the Governor of River State, Mr. Yesom Wike, the Honorable Chisholm Promise DK. Member representing Elemitai and Oyibo Federal Constituency and other members of the National Assembly present. Mr. Temitok Fashdini, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Power, representing the Honorable Minister of Power, Chairman, Transco PLC, Mr. Tony Elumi. The Special Advisor to the President on Infrastructure, Engineer Ahmed Rufai Zakari, Director General, Bureau of Public Enterprises, Mr. Alec Oko, President Group Chief Executive Officer, Transco, Dr. Owen Omogiato, the Country President General Electric, Mohammed Mijin Dadi, Elder Statesman and Chairman of the Elders Council of River State, Chief D. Alabraba, Ambassador Desmond Akapa, the D. Chairman, Chairman Oyibo Local Government Area, the Honorable Kechuku Akara Nwaugu, and other members of the River State Executive Council present. His Royal Highness, the Onye Wali of Koloman Doki, Eze Alex Dike, and other traditional rulers present. Heads of government, parastatals, and agencies present. Management and staff of Transcore, management and staff of the Trans Afam Power Station present. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. First, let me. Uh, a very warm felicitations of President Muhammad Buhari, who, as you know, is a special guest of honor, and I am here today on his behalf. 
It's my very special pleasure to join you at this official commissioning of the AFAM 3 Fast Power. AFAM 3 Fast Power, as you've heard already, is an important part of the evolving story of Nigeria's aspirations to bring electricity to millions in their homes and to factories and businesses that provide their livelihoods. This is because it brings into very sharp relief the importance of private capital in building up capacity along the power value chain. A major weakness of our privatization process, which of course you know started in about 2005 and since then, was and has been inadequacy of private investments and new cash injections. But the tide is turning with indigenous power and indigenous entrepreneurs such as Transcore Power and Airs Holding making significant investments such as this 100% acquisition of 966 megawatts in stock capacity AFAM PLC and AFAM 3 Fast Power Limited, jointly referred to as the AFAM Genco, at an acquisition cost, as I'm sure you've heard already, of about 105.3 billion naira. Only yesterday, the National Council on Privatization formally delisted Transcor Power PLC, formerly known as Ugeli Power PLC, from routine monitoring and evaluation by the BPE, indicating yet another successful power investment. In the last few days, I must say, uh, and I've told uh, Tony Elumeru uh, this already, I must say the last few days belong to Transcorp Power, because at the same meeting, at the same meeting of the National Council on Privatization, the Council approved Trans the Transcorp Power Consortium as preferred bidder for the acquisition of the Abuja Disco. But the complete story is that in the past few years, we have seen more new money coming into the power value chain. These transactions include the Quest PLC that became core investor in Yola Disco in 2020 with a transaction worth 19 billion naira. Last month, the NCP approved the 30-year concession on Zugueru Hydro Power Plant at $70 million a year for the entire concession period. And the overall, and overall the of the Nigerian electricity supply industry is also getting better. I'm happy to say that since 2020, the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission has ex executed all its biannual review processes without fail. Now this is a major difference from the past. In 2019, subsidies reached a peak of 584 billion Naira in an environment that became so burdensome for the Nigerian government's fiscal position. The introduction of the service-based tariff, the payment discipline initiative for the sector, which was jointly organized by NERC and the CBN, and the introduction of the national mass metering program have led to a doubling of market collections in the Nigerian electricity supply industry from 40 billion naira a month in 2020 to a record 80 billion per month in the first quarter of 2023. In 2021 and 2022, five underperforming discos were brought into a restructuring program that has led to a 10 billion naira per month reduction in shortfalls. If this trajectory continues, then it means that the Nigerian electricity supply industry will attain self-sufficiency by the end of 2023. In other words, it will be able to resource itself, pay for itself. The challenge before us now is for the industry to leverage the improved commercial environment that has been created to sustainably supply electricity and improve service to all our citizens. Our administration has made significant strides in this direction. The administration has created programs for off-grid electrification, and we, and we also revamped the Rural Electrification Agency 
such that it now has the capacity to provide renewable off-grid electricity supply on a first-class basis. This administration has also completed concessions, as you heard, the Zungero Hydroelectric Power Plant, that will add another 700 megawatts of renewable energy to our energy mix. We believe we are on track to electrify all Nigerians in the next decade as we look forward to the next administration scaling up already existing programs. Despite all these, we will not make progress if our industrial and urban power supply that is anchored on large-scale gas power plants such as the AFAM 3 power does not improve. Despite having one of the largest gas reserves in the world, the gas supply and security for the power sector has remained inconsistent and is hampering reform. In 2022, a gas supply stabilization fund of 40 billion was established by the Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, to provide advanced payment security to all gas suppliers in the electric, uh, electricity supply industry. Consistently, gas suppliers to the sector had claimed that payment certainty was the greatest challenge to supply. Unfortunately, the payment security has not led to improved supply certainty. So I encourage gas producers and gas suppliers to have a fundamental rethink about supply security and prefer ways to ensure our gas supply can improve and meet the gap uh, and growing demands of the Nigerian electricity supply industry. Some areas to further explore would be to depend perhaps more on non-associated gas and specific gas fields to supply the power industry on more, at, at more liberalized rates. Also, more joint regulatory partnerships are needed between NERC and the oil and gas regulatory agencies over gas supply to the power sector. Particularly, every gas company supplying to the power sector should have a requirement to have some form of contractual obligations with penalties for non-performance. We must eliminate all best endeavor contracts for gas supply to the power sector. I also urge the Nigerian National uh, Petroleum Corporation, the NMPC Limited, to work constructively with the power companies in order to improve stability of supply from the Okolomo gas plant and its associated fields so we can have maximum output of the 1.5 gigawatts of energy capacity in this AFAM cluster. Let me end with special commendations. First, to the federal government for starting and completing this project. I recall a number of years ago when General Electric spoke to us about the idea of bringing new state-of-the-art uh, aero derivative gas power units to place at the time uh, the, president, the president's uh, advisor on infrastructure was on, the, uh, was on the GE side. He's now on the government side. And the whole idea was to replace the scrapped AFAM-3 power plant with, these new, uh, with this new technology. To some, it seemed fanciful, given the negative investment environment for power in the country at the time. But that commitment and partnership with General Electric has now resulted in this additional 240 megawatts of capacity in this very important AFAM cluster that houses our most important power as most important power assets in the country today. Then, of course, the River State Government and the AFAM uh, Paramount Ruler and the communities are joining AFAM for working constructively with the power companies to ensure continued peace and security in the AFAM cluster, without which we wouldn't be here today commissioning uh, this project. Also to General Electric for its continued investments and partnership with Nigeria to improve our electricity industry. To the DGPP and the entire BP team, and of course the National Council on Privatization for another successfully completed transaction. And of course, uh, Tony Olu, the serial power investor, and the entire Transco team, for yet another great power sector investment. I'm confident that we have all that we require to create one of the best power markets 
in the world. I'm also confident that it will happen within our lifetimes. Thank you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Please, may we all rise with a round of applause for His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Shibajo, delivering this keynote address on behalf of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Dubuhari, on this very special occasion of the commissioning of the AFCOM 240 megawatts 3 fast power project. Well, for the first time hearing a few terminologies from the Vice President when he spoke about the delisting of uh, Afan Power, Ugeli Power from uh, the BPE and, and, and then handing it over to Transco. Well, if you're in the financial markets, when you, if you're delisted from an exchange, it's bad news. But when the NCP and the BPE delist you, it's good news. So let's give another round of applause, please to Transcorp and, of course, to Mr. Vice President, who is the uh, Chairman of the National Council on Privatization, uh, for making this happen, and also uh, putting pen to paper for the Abuja Disco. We'll just take one or two set of photographs, and then we will proceed, led by our Chief Host, Mr. Tony Elumelu, to the official commissioning, so, Mr. Vice President, if you permit me, I will have to bring you back to the podium for just one or two photographs. May I list you back on the podium, Mr. Vice President? Please step forward. Then, Mr. Tony Elimelu, please. Okay, the photographs will be done at the center. So let me just quickly mention the names, please. Only few of our guests will be going with the vice president for the commissioning. The DG of the BPE, please may you please come to the uh, podium. The permanent secretary in the power ministry, please uh, step forward as well. The president. Uh, and Group CEO of Transcom, as well as the GE country president. Uh, immediately after this uh, group photograph, this. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, will proceed to the official commissioning. Please, the rest of us will remain seated. This event is live on Arise News, so you can please watch on Arise.tv. Please, you can tune in to Arise.tv to watch this event. It's live. All right, then we can see. Uh, Live images uh, from River State Afam. We're looking at the inauguration of uh, the Transcorp, uh, uh, Transcorp Power over there. You can see the vice president is making his way down. And what's very important to note is that this inauguration in itself marks a significant stride towards revitalizing the power sector in Nigeria. For a long time, we've grappled with uh, multifarious challenges, including suboptimal power supply, poor capacity utilization, and exorbitant tariffs, which have contributed to the country's economic uh, growth and its stifling industrial potential. But uh, today, co by commissioning Transco Power, the government aims to mitigate these challenges by augmenting the country's power generation capacity and enhancing the efficiency of the power uh, sector. The AFAM, AFAM's power plant's uh, impressive 966 uh, megawatt capacity promises to, of course, augment the national grid's power supply substantially, thereby providing households, businesses, and industries with uh, reliable and cost-effective electricity. Aaron? Yes, and you can see the the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, um, unveiling the plaque for the AFM-3 fast power 240 megawatts turbine in AFM River State. I must tell you that well, this is quite an auspicious event for 
uh, the Transcorp Power Group, who, who are the parent company of the Trans Afam mm -hmm. company. They are the power turbine company there in River State. So uh, the vice president doing the honors, of course, also Toby Lumelu, the man chairing the um, the Trans um, the Transcorp Power Group, also present there in River State for this particular occasion. And you, and you know, the, the private sector do has a, it has a crucial role to play, I believe, in enhancing Nigeria's power sector by investing in power generation and transmission and distribution infrastructure, which will not only boost the power generation capacity, but also improve the efficiency of the sector and also catalyze job creations. You know, in essence, the commissioning of the Transco Power in Afam River State by the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, who we can see they're about to cut the ribbon, is a momentous stride towards ameliorating the challenges confronting Nigeria's power sector, as well as a sporing private sector involvement and setting the stage, however, for sustainable economic growth and development in the country. You can see him making his way in there. And it is also important to note that this comes, uh, you know, very shortly after uh, Oshibajo just yesterday presented the discharge certificate to Transcorp Power uh, only just uh, yesterday. So uh, definitely they are, they are making strides and are looking forward to seeing how this in itself will turn things around uh, when it comes to the power infrastructure in our nation. All right, uh, let's, let's once again just recap of what is going on, which is the commissioning and the inauguration of the Afam Tree Fast Power 240 megawatt turbine in River State. So certainly um, electricity will be getting a massive boost and this is under the Bureau of Public um, Enterprise and more importantly a public-private partnership with the hope of strengthening and also boosting power, uh, power generation here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm, definitely. And you know just looking at the, the, the track record of uh, Transcorp Power they have um, managed to, uh, you know, even in this time, fulfill the post privatization performance criteria. Uh, they've driven a strong indigenous agenda. The plants have managed to, they're fully operated by Nigerians, so it's creating jobs and reducing unemployment in uh, the country. Uh, and since they began operations in 2013, they have recorded um, zero incidents till date. Uh, it's also very important to note that uh, Transcorp Power increased the generation of the plant uh, uh, in uh, Inugeli by 227% uh, from operational status as its handover in 2013. So to see now in 2023, almost 10 years after the fulfillment of the agenda that they had set forward to, uh, to, to complete. Uh, you can see uh, there the CEO, uh, Tony uh, Lumelu, and the vice president, of course, is the one who is performing this inauguration today. Um, live uh, images there from River State uh, Afam at the Fast Power Turbines inauguration. Uh, well, it seems the, the, the doors are being, uh, sh uh, being shut, uh, probably because uh, a number of people can't enter that room at the same time. But uh, if we're looking at those images, you can tell that a lot of work has indeed gone into putting this uh, structure together. Yes, putting it together and ensuring that it's actually up and running. So um, as the administration of President Marvel Brary is on these last legs, literally, mm. uh, winding up. Certainly, these are one of the uh, one of the gains and one, one of the high points. I'm sure they will want to point to that they've been able to boost power generation and also transmission here in Nigeria. Hence, uh, the project, this particular project under the BPE, and more importantly, what is now a reality, which is the Afam Three Fast Power 240 megawatts turbines in River State. And also, like the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osibaja actually mentioned, General Electric's, the conglomerate, the, the super conglomerate in the United States of America was heavily involved 
in setting up this particular provides and today after a lot of planning went into this a lot of conceptualization went into this today but we are seeing the reality of what was dreamt about and what was envisioned a few years down the few years ago the inauguration of Transco Power, I think we can uh, hear, the, 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 if we listen closely, that could be the turbines uh, uh, coming on. But uh, the inauguration of uh, Transco Power in Afam River State by the Vice President Oyemi Oshibajo is a significant event that underscores the Nigerians, uh, Nigerian government's unwavering commitment to uh, the country's uh, power sector. We do know that Nigeria has been beset by various issues, uh, power supply, low capacity, utilization, high tariffs, all which have had an adverse impact on the economy and hindered industrial growth and development. But the inauguration of Transco Power will present a crucial step towards mitigating these challenges by augmenting power generation capacity and enhancing the efficiency of the sector. Now with, uh, with you know, this initial launch and then a capacity of about 966 uh, megawatts, eventually the AFM power plant is expected to substantially augment power supply to the national grid and uh, you know, provide reliable and cost-effective electricity to households to businesses and even industries, uh, hopefully uh, across uh, the nation. Uh, moreover, the inauguration of Transcorp Power signif uh, signifies the drive to promote uh, the private sector's involvement uh, in the power sector. Uh, when we look at you know the, the power generation in itself, the transmission, uh, the distribution infrastructure being very vital in developing uh, uh, the sector, uh, so to speak. And uh, we'll just continue to take these live images from River State. images from River State, Afam River State, you on the screen, we can see the Vice President uh, Yemi Oshibajo alongside uh, CEO Tony Elumelu and other members, uh, other stakeholders, of course, uh, of Transcorp uh, Power. Now, uh, the presentation uh, just occurred yesterday, the discharge certificate to Transcorp Power by Vice President Oshibajo, uh, a commendable recognition of the company's commitment to fulfilling its contractual obligations to the government and the significance of that, of course, uh, being its involvement of promoting the private sector. Uh, yes, let me just quickly put this mm -hmm. one in. Of course, some, some of the people in the picture, of course, the lady mm -hmm. that we're actually seeing there is Owen Omogiafo, mm -hmm. talking about she is the group CEO of Transco PLC and a non-executive director in Transafam um, PLC. So put in there, of course, also, we there was the picture of course Mr. Emmanuel Norum, um, who is the chairman of the of TransAfam. He's also uh, there, of course. Um, he actually joined the board in 2014, and also Vincent Ozoude, okay, who is also the MD and CEO, okay, and Mr. Stanley Lawson, who is also a non-executive director. So these are all. Um, these are all the men and all the board members, rather, of the Trans Afam Power, and they've been overseeing a versatile and a very, very complex project 
right now that has actually come to fruition. And like we actually said, General Electric had a lot to do with this. But today, Transco Power can actually celebrate that they've been able to make this indigenous and more importantly try to boost power generation and transmission here in Nigeria as the AFM 3 fast power 240 megawatts turbines are actually set to roll in today in River State.